Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be taking you through a demo of Lexus Plus AI so that you can see it in action. So today I'm very excited to demonstrate Lexus Plus AI, a new generative AI legal assistant. Um, as the name suggests, Lexus Plus AI sits within the Lexus Plus ecosystem and it marries the latest in AI technology with our authoritative content to help you complete core legal task faster and with more confidence. The AI assistant icon here in the experience doc provides easy access to the new generative AI capabilities. And I'll click on that now to bring up the new interface. The four tasks which are listed on the interface, um, the first of which is ask a legal question. This is also known as conversational search. And the AI assistant has been trained to respond to the type of uh, legal research questions that arise in your day-to-day -day practice such as term of art interpretation and application, questions about legal procedures and principles, and identification of leading cases by legislation, topic, or fact. Next, you can generate a first draft of an email letter or clause and then refine that via follow-up prompting. Thirdly, you can summarize any case in our database, reported or unreported. And finally, you can upload your own documents to summarize or run queries against them. And now I'll demonstrate each of these tasks in turn, starting with ask a legal question. Before I do, I'll just draw your attention to this jurisdictional pre-filter at the bottom of the screen. And so you can apply any of the jurisdictions listed here or specify a jurisdiction in your prompt to, see, to receive a response grounded in the law of that jurisdiction. We also have sample prompts on the interface to help you in kind of, or give you an idea as to how you can structure your own prompts. As a general rule, prompts that state a goal and purpose are clear and concise, and also state a jurisdiction where relevant will return the best prompts. More advice on prompting and other help resources are uh, available by this question mark icon at the bottom of the screen. So I'll go ahead and ask a legal question and an employment one at that um, about the interaction between the statutory minimum period of notice of termination in the Fair Work Act and the common law concept of reasonable notice. So I'll enter my query here. Um, and that is, does section 170, 117 of the Fair Work Act exclude the implication of a term of reasonable notice? So Lexus Plus AI is powered by a blend of large language models, which have been uh, fine-tuned on our content to give them the, the depth and the nuance to be able to understand legal context and language and perform the four key tasks. As Nina explained, we use a process mm -hmm. called Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, which involves integrating these large language models with our existing search technology. Um, and as Nina mentioned, one of the benefits of that is that the response that you receive is grounded in our authoritative content, which is an important safeguard against the risk of hallucination in inaccuracy. Another advantage is that the response you receive, or, or I should say the large language model, can consider is not confined to its training data in responding to your query, but it can also consider new cases, legislation, and secondary materials as they are published. So here we see the AI response with citation links embedded and repeated below. And these are provided so that you can verify the, both the provenance and the accuracy of the response. And they can also facilitate further reading on the, um, the key issues covered. In addition to these embedded citations, you also have further reading materials, which are accessible by this, this view related um, documents button. And these materials are sorted by type. There are cases, legislation, practical guidance, and secondary materials. These are all additional resources that the AI assistant considered relevant in, in generating the response. Now, your research doesn't need to stop there. You can ask further questions, follow-up questions to refine or clarify the AI assistant's responses. Um, in this instance, I want to know more about the common law term of reasonable notice, specifically the factors that de determine the duration of a reasonable period of notice in a given case. So I can enter my prompt in the text bar and hit submit. Um, what I didn't explain earlier is that you can see the steps the AI system is taking to generate the response listed on the interface. And this is to, to provide, as far as possible, 
you know, transparency about what is happening in order to generate the response, the, the, the technology behind the scenes. Where you engage in a conversation with the AI assistant at each turn in the, AI, in the conversation, the assistant will retain the full context of your preceding prompts and its responses and respond to you appropriately. You can actually trigger different tasks within the same conversation. So instead of asking a further legal query, as I did here, I could have prompted the AI assistant to draft a letter to a client incorporating the previous response or prompted the AI assistant to summarize one of the authorities referred to therein, for example. So as requested, the AI assistant has listed factors that might be considered in determining a re reasonable period of notice in each case. If any of these issues were relevant to my matter, so it may be you know, an issue like job mobility, for example, I could prompt the AI system to find additional cases where job mobility was a determinative factor. In this way, it's very much like conducting, and it's one of the reasons why we describe it as conversational search, it's very much like running a search in Lexus Plus in that you can start quite broad and then refine your search by adding additional parameters. It's just that in this case, leveraging Lexus Plus A or leveraging AI, Lexus Plus AI is doing a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So I'll go ahead and start a new conversation now to demonstrate the next capability or task being drafting. And this time I'll ask the AI assistant to draft an opinion letter. So I've asked or requested an opinion letter for a client regarding a proposed unsecured loan facility and then provided additional detail regarding that loan facility. Um, you can request a or generate a, a draft of either an email clause or letter, and we are looking to add additional outputs in due course. We've had a question in the chat, Rupert, for you. Sure. It's the, the attendee has asked, will the AI response limit itself to only those sources to which you have subscribed, or will it give you a full response but deny links to unsubscribed sources? That's a, a very good question and one that I was just actually about to address, address, I should say. So to be clear, the AI assistant will consider all, all resources in our database to ensure as far as po possible the breadth and accuracy of the response that you receive. If one of those sources is out of your subscription, you will see a, a tag here or an indicator that that document is not in your subscription. However, all of these sources listed are hyperlinked, meaning that they're within plan. And in fact, I can click on the document just to show you the experience. So what I'm doing now is I'm following the link to one of the grounding sources. This is one of the documents that the AI assistant considered in generating the response. It's a, it's a document or commentary from Australian corporate finance law. And now you can, or I could continue my research here. Um, or if I needed to re-engage the AI assistant, I can slide it out again and continue my conversation or even start a new conversation without losing the context of my work. So in this instance, I have started in the Lexus Plus AI environment and then segued into the, the underlying content on Lexus Plus. And many users who have signed up to Lexus Plus AI have indicated to us that they are using that as the starting point to their research. But equally, you could start here in this traditional environment. It could be that you're reading a case or secondary materials and a, a query comes to you or you need to complete a task and you, then you can engage the, the AI assistant as I did earlier. The starting point to your research and the, the, the flow that it takes will really depend upon the task that you are undertaking as well as personal preference. So I'll just navigate back to the full Lexus plus AI experience. Um, as I did earlier, I could at this point enter follow-up prompts to refine the letter. So for example, I could ask the AI assistant to, to shorten the letter or adjust the tone. And then once satisfied with the final output, there are various options to deliver this, um, both the, the output as well as the supporting resources to my own environment. And those are uh, copy and paste, print, email, and download.
So I'll go ahead now and start a new conversation to demonstrate case summarization. And I have a uh, sample prompt, a citation here that I will, that I will summarize. This is a, a full federal court decision that some may be familiar with. It's a decision about whether an employee can reasonably refuse to work on a, uh, on a public holiday. In this task, you'll be able to instantly generate a summary of the case with the important elements distilled into a, a concise and easy to digest format so that you can work with speed and accuracy. The way we have programmed the AI system is to return an editorial human drafted summary where available or else generate a summary of its own. Um, and the AI summaries are very good, as you'll see when the response is finished and the, um, the formatting has been applied. So here we have just in, in a matter of, you know, in the matter of less than a minute, a summary of this particular case, setting out the key legal holdings, material facts, applicable law, reasons for judgment and decision. This particular case is around, I think it's around 50 paragraphs. So to, to read and digest that yourself um, would, uh, would no doubt take far longer than the AI assistant took now. And you have a link through to the full text judgment at the bottom of the summary so that you can, you know, just for your reference, if you have further questions about this particular case to determine its uh, you know, applicability to your own matter, you can ask follow up questions as I did earlier. We have so I'll go ahead now and create a new conversation to demonstrate the final capability or task on Lexus Plus AI which is document upload. This actually, this task combines two capabilities. That is the ability to upload your own or, or up to 10 documents at a time to summarize. Alternatively, you can, or, or in addition to the summary, you can also ask questions of those documents. Um, and this functionality can serve a broad range of use cases within a litigation workflow. One of which Nina mentioned earlier is uploading your opponent's submissions and then asking questions of those submissions or generating a summary as I will now. So once the document is uploaded, you'll see there'll be interface, oh, sorry, I should say feedback on the interface to indicate that you can now generate a summary and or ask questions of that document. And I'm going to go ahead and summarize the submissions Lexus Plus AI supports different file types. I know that typically you'd receive submissions from your opponent in PDF format. And I'm pleased to say that PDF upload is supported as well as doc, docx and txt. You can summarize one document or multiple documents at once. And the um, indeed the time you save in using this feature will, will vary or it will increase based on the number and size of documents that you summarize. You can summarize any litigation documents provided they are in a supported format. Uh, here we have the summary, or I have a summary of my opponent's submissions outlining the key arguments. And I could then ask follow-up questions, for example, about the cases cited in support of those arguments. This will give me a good start in deconstructing my opponent's submissions and also preparing my counter arguments. Let me start a new conversation now, and I'll, this time I'll upload multiple documents. These are the submissions from a, a pending high court decision. They're submissions from the respondent and the appellant. And you can see that they are, the first is 17 pages long, the respondent submissions and the appellant submissions are 14 pages. They have been uploaded, and now I can go ahead and ask questions about those documents. I'm going to ask the AI assistant to compare arguments. So I've asked the AI assistant to compare each party's arguments on whether a direction given by a corrective service officer to a prisoner who is subject of a supervision order under the, um, the Dangerous Prisoners Act is a decision made under an enactment. So I'll just wait for the AI system to, to load its response. This capability can be used to, as I am now, to compare arguments across multiple documents. 
Um, but you could also use it to identify inconsistencies or gaps in evidence, which will really help you, you know, and, and then you can use that to, to start developing your litigation strategy. Um, earlier, Nina explained our, our data security measures and, uh, <coughs> pardon me, she mentioned that for uploaded documents, they are encrypted, temporarily cached in a secure environment and completely deleted within 10 minutes of activity, of inactivity, I should say. Um, they're only uh, generated for, oh, sorry, processed for the purpose of generating a summary or responding to your queries. That is, they're not used to train the large language models and so, for, pardon me, certainly not shared with any third parties. We would like to thank you for coming along today. If you do have any more questions or you want any more information, please do reach out to your account manager. They'll be more than happy to help. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. We hope you've enjoyed the session.